Hello, it's Matty G. Uh, welcome back to the server here on the Maypole map. Um, we're over at Mike's farm for a quick tour. This is his main base of operation. So here's the entrance off the main road. So just sweeping in. This is uh, had a bit of a tidy up. Everything's put away. He's got his main. Looks like one of his main sheds here with his tractors in. There we go. You can see he's got a nice big RT there, nine RT, and an eight RX as well. Looks like an eight R. Oh, six R. My bad. Uh, he's got a little. Is that a Massey? Nope. It's a case H I. So it looks like the four main tractors he's running at the moment, and then over across here he's got his work shed with his Canadian flags above it, as well as his silo, massive silo. Uh, we have the class Lexion and a New Holland C90, is it C90H? CH90? CH7, ah, there we go. And there's his two main harvesters. Uh, you can see the header for this one here. That's for the Lexian and ah, just around there is the one for the New Holland. His fuel tank is squeezed in there and he has a very big harvest, I'm gonna guess. The in the front is it a front entrance? Uh, we'll have a look around that in a minute. So over here we've got another little shed. Uh looks like he's got his forage wagon there. Uh fertilizer spreader. There's a road that goes right around the back of the sheds and joins up here and then off towards his fields. Nice little layout there. Um, jog around the outskirts here of the farm. He's got a fermenting silo there in the silo complex. Uh, drive through silo. So he's probably got around, say, anywhere between two and a half and four million litre capacity there. Needs it with the amount of grass we do and not on the farms he's got his mower equipment at the side or should I say the back of his shed there grass he's got his seed and fertilizer purchase points it's good to see them on any farm nice big open straight into another field and if we come down the track This will be the lower half of his farm. He's got a big open storage area here for root crop or machinery. A second one there. Uh, we'll go down one side and up another, I think. Got his storage rack for his eggs. Help keep the slot count for the pallets down. Big old chicken coop. I think this one holds about 800, 6 to 800. Free range, free range eggs. <laughs> uh, if we keep sweeping down, we've got another big barn here for more storage. I believe he was planning on using one of these for bailing. Uh, there's his bales, we're getting ready for bale wrapping. I'm assuming he will wrap them up and pop them away over in one of those storage bays. Uh, there's his auto load bale trailer, kind of essential. A muck, a muck pen there. Uh, it kind of runs into open space here, so plenty of room for potential. Turn some of it into field, turn more farmland. Uh, even possible, you could have more buildings down this way. Lots more storage here. Interact is that an interactive door? No, but still, you've got a door through the back of the barn into the bush, into the field, gives you a quick access. Gloss baler, uh, disc harrow, disc harrow cultivator, massive cedar. So, yeah, that's pretty much his basis of his farm there. There's a quickly jump into build mode and take a quick look from the air. There we 
Ja. So here is where we finished off. Down here, we've got the chickens there on the right. Multiple storage sheds as we bend round to the left and go up into the upper farm. He's got his main shed just here with his tractors in. Sweeping around, you've got his silo. Big complex. Next to that is his US version of a uh, workshop with his Canadian flag sitting on top. And that that hosts his harvesters. That's the basis of his main, main farmland area. Now if we jump back into the map and we swing across here. Let's find somewhere we can visit. Somehow we ended in the field. Over here is where his production areas are. So his sheep pen here holds 700 sheep. And you see he's got, we've got to run around. He's got his greenhouses here for his production. And a fuel tank. Miscellaneous bits and bobs. A flamenting silo. Helps with any of the grass cutting he does locally. You can pop in there and get it turned into silage. He's got his own spinnery. It's another small silo just to help out with anything he needs to pop in there. He's got his honey pallet factory. And a tailor shop. So this is kind of his production area. Building up. As you can see, there we go. He's got his clothes building up there nicely. Nice big beehives in the field, collecting ready for the honey harvest. We can jump to the air, uh, take a look and see what we have missed, because most likely have. This is the way we came, do a sharp turn. Do we got another chicken coop here? Hold to another six or seven hundred. It's where his house is home from home, when he's not working on the farm. And wash shed. And I'm assuming he'll keep his runaround car in there. So that's pretty much that. That's that one. That is Mike's farm. Hopefully we'll do a few more videos and keep you up to date as the farms grow. So until next time, this has been Mei G. Peace out.